Hi, everybody. It is Wednesday, June 21st. We are now in Meyer Gardens. Last night we played Nashville, Indiana. Had a fabulous show. Really good, wonderful crowd, beautiful venue. You know, it was very austere inside, but acoustically it sounded just great from, at least from my vantage point, it was really a, a great show. Um, uh, and then we got on the bus, as we do every night, and drove. So we are now up in Grand Rapids, Michigan. And we're going to be playing Meyer Gardens tonight. I believe that's how it's pronounced. Uh, I can't wait to go do another walkthrough of this venue because it's an incredible uh, botanical gardens. Um, I filmed it on last summer's tour, but I'll try to maybe discover some other areas today when we get there. And uh, I'm looking forward, really looking forward to this one. It's one of those really gorgeous, gorgeous places. Um, and we're having a great time. But the best news, best news today is I've been getting lots of questions from people about where's Yogi? Where's Yogi? Um, Yogi sent me a picture of him yesterday in the uh, recovery room. He had his hip replacement surgery. He's been in a lot of pain for a long time with this, and it just became too much. It had to be done so that he was finally able to schedule it. And he sent me a picture of him in bed, just thanking everybody for all of their kind words and thoughtfulness about him. And he's gonna, going into rehab, and he said he'll probably maybe be able to start doing work again around the end of August. But for all of those of you who have been concerned about where's Yogi? Um, Yogi's doing great. He's had his surgery and now he's in the recovery mode and I'm so thrilled for him because it was really tough watching this guy work. He's, he's, a, he's a bull when he's working, but boy, when you're in that much pain, it just makes it really that hard. So go Yogi, as they might say. Um, so lots of stuff going on here. I really, um, I kind of turned on the TV and they're still trying to locate that submarine with the people that went down to look at the Titanic. And it looks like they may be joining the Titanic at this point. It's really so tragic. I mean, it's uber wealthy down there. I mean, 250,000 bucks a seat to be in this submarine. And now it's stuck at the bottom of the ocean. And at least the last time I turned the news on, they're they're desperately trying to find it, but it's running out of air. I mean, it's just like the horrors of events like that just keep going. Just leave. They've documented it. They've filmed it. Leave it alone. It's a graveyard. Don't make it a tourist attraction and a bigger graveyard. So this is pretty, pretty weird that that's going on. But uh, I'm just going to go play music. I'm really not interested in diving down and looking at a shipwreck at this point. <laughs> Um, so today I was going to go back and visit, I, I, I've done a couple of albums with this artist and, uh, I don't believe I've addressed any of that yet. So I'm going to go ahead and jump into Yvonne Elliman. I've got a little bio thing here I'll read you and then I'll talk about the album, play you a couple of tracks from it. Uh, Yvonne Marianne Elliman was born December 29th, 1951 as an American singer, songwriter, and actress who performed for four years in the very first cast of the stage musical Jesus Christ Superstar. She scored a number of hits in the 70s and achieved U.S. number one hit with If I Can't Have You. The song also reached number nine on the adult contemporary charts and number four in the U.K. charts. Her cover of Barbara Lewis's Hello Stranger went to number one on the adult contemporary charts, and Love Me was also number five, giving her three top ten singles. After a long hiatus in the 80s and 90s, during which time she dedicated herself to her family, she made a comeback album as a singer-songwriter in 2004. Uh, Elliman was born and raised in Manoa, neighborhood of Honolulu, Hawaii. Her mother was Japanese descent and her father, the salesman's for, uh, salesman for best foods, was Irish descent. Uh, Elliman showed an interest in music from an early age, playing the ukulele, ukulele uh, by age four and taking piano lessons at age seven. While attending President Theodore Roosevelt High School, Elliman performed in the school band on stand-up bass and violin. However, she became most proficient on the guitar and performed as a singer and guitarist in a folk music band called We Folk, which she formed with schoolmates. The band fared well in local talent shows. Um, 
It was interesting. According to Elliman, she went truant during most truant during most of her senior year at high school, but graduated owing to the intervention of the school's British-born band teacher, Peter Wilcox, who persuaded the teachers to pass her and encouraged the 17-year-old Elliman to relocate to London and pursue a musical career, which she did shortly after graduating. Then it goes on to say Elliman's singing career began in 1969 in London when she performed in bars and clubs. At the time, she did not like what she was singing. I hated the music then, she recalls in a 73 interview, adding, I did it for the bread. I was also into drugs and all that and thought Grace Slick and the Jefferson Airplane was it. While still an unknown, she was discovered by Tim Rice and Andrew Lloyd Webber, who asked her to sing the part of Mary Magdalene in the original audio recording of Jesus Christ Superstar with Ian Gillen singing as Jesus. After the release of the album in 1970, they invited her to join the stage show's traveling cast, which she did for four years. She had her first Billboard Hot 100 single in 71 with the ballad, I Don't Know How to Love Him from Jesus Christ Superstar. Her original version was not issued as a single until a cover version by Helen Reddy started moving up the U.S. charts, uh, appearing concurrently on the charts, a rare event not common since the 50s when different uh, releases played in different parts of the United States. Elliman's original peaked at 28 while Helen's went to 13. In the end, Elliman performed on the 1970 concept album in the Broadway cast and in the 1973 film. She and Barry Denon were alone among the cast members to perform on the original record, original Broadway production, and in the film. Her performance in the film as Mary Magdalene led to a 1974 Golden Globe nomination for Best Actress in a Motion Picture Comedy or Musical. And then goes on to a whole bunch of other stuff when she went to New York and was involved in the disco scene. Um, uh, okay, let's see what's this. In also 1977, the Bee Gees were working on Saturday Night Fever and wrote How Deep Is Your Love for Her, but Stigwood wanted the Bee Gees to perform it. Instead, she sang uh, If I Can't Have You, and the song became a number one hit on the Billboard 100 and is generally considered the high point of her recording career. A uh, few minor top 40 hits followed and uh, goes on and then hiatus. Uh, it says, after spending a decade pursuing a career, Elman went on hiatus to dedicate herself to her two children. Then in 2004, Elman reappeared in the music scene when she released her album titled Simple Needs, all songs written by Elman. Then she re-released the album globally in 2007. Elman has continued to perform at music festivals, benefits, concerts throughout the country and around the world. She also performed on a PBS special of 70s soul music in 2004. Um, uh, if I Can't Have You, uh, singing If I Can't Have You. In 2014, she reunited with Teddy Neely and Barry Denon in Verona for a special Jesus Christ Superstar event. I remember doing an album with Teddy Neely. <laughs> Elliman uh, is featured in the 2014 Teddy Neely EP rock opera, performing a duet with Neely, Up Where We Belong. In the summer of 2018, she joined the 45th anniversary of the Superstar film screenings uh, events in Los Angeles and shared the experience with fans on Facebook. And then it's just got her little personal life there. It says, Elliman was married to RSO Records executive Bill Oakes from 72 to 80. Then she married singer, uh, made, married songwriter Wade Hyman in 81, and they had two children. They later separated and divorced. Then she married Alan Alexander in 2016. Uh, on, August, uh, on August 2017, Elliman was slated to sing in Guam for a Catholic school charity when she was stopped by customs for possession of marijuana and uh, meth. Uh, after spending the night in jail, she and her husband pleaded guilty to position of controlled substance, continued with the planned concert, and were allowed to return to Hawaii on probation until their 2018 sentencing. They were ordered to perform community service and serve the remainder in a two-week sentence. Billboard magazine said in, by observing the courtroom proceedings of drug offending probation uh, in, well, it doesn't make much sense. That's Yvonne Elliman, though. So let me get to the album. The sec this is the second album that I that I did with her. It's got quite a cast of characters. So this one was from 1979. It's simply titled Yvonne, and um, the cast of characters in this is is something else. Uh, arrangements by Michael O'Mardian, horn arrangements by Chuck Finley, string arrangements by Jimmy Haskell. 
Um, background vocals are Common Twilly, Jim Haas, John Kurtz, um, John Joyce, Julia Walters, uh, where, uh, Julia Waters Tillman, um, Kathy Collier, Matthew Moore, Maxine Willard Waters, Stan Farber, and uh, Vanetta Gould. Um, based on this one, I shared duties uh, with Paul Stallworth and Mike Beccaro and me, and then string bass was Buell Neidlinger. Concert master was Asa Drory and Sid Sharp. Um, drums were Jeff Picaro and Jim Keltner on this. Um, flute was Jim Horn, guitars Ben Benet, Davy Johnston, Jay Graydon, Lee Rittenauer, Marty Walsh, Richie Zito, and Steve Cropper, the horn section. Uh, Chuck Kelso, Jim Horn, and Chuck Finley. Keyboards Billy Payne, Craig Durge, David Page, Dr. John, Michael O'Mardian, Tom Canning, and Tom Snow. It was mastered by Bernie Grunman. Percussion was Gary Coleman, Steve Berry, Steve Foreman, Victor Feldman. Percussion also, uh, Frederick Stale, I believe is his last name. Percussion tablas on this was Joe Picaro. Norman Seif did the photography. It was produced by Steve Berry and Robert A. Pear. Uh, saxophone solos were Jim Horn and the sitars, Davy Johnston. I'm just double checking everything here. So I'm going to go ahead and just play a couple of tracks from the album. That These are the ones I'm pretty sure I played on. And this one is called Nowhere to Hide. Oh, come on, go back to the top. Love is come and love is gone. But it's never twice the same Happiness is hard to show When you're numb to all the pain And I've been floating around like a lost newspaper Falling down some windy street Feeling so Like a fire burning 
I'm trying a little experiment here. This new phone is apparently stereo. So instead of my speaker being over here on the side, I'm seeing if it's sound, if it'll do stereo sitting here in front. So I hope it sounds good. I won't know till I'm through with all of this, but I'm just, uh, I'm, I'm experimenting on you. So here we go. Let's try another track here. This was the second album I did with Yvonne. I had one previous to this. This one is called Cold Wind Across My Heart. Oh, come on. Go to the beginning. I hate when it does that. Okay.
adventurous arrangement on that one. Really like. Um, I'll do one more for you here. This is Cold Wind Across My Heart. Hold on one sec. Let me check. No, this is... I already just did that. Um, this one is called Savannah. And... Um, Got Keltner on drums on this, Ben Benet, Steve Cropper, Lee Rittenauer, Richie Zito on guitar, Davey Johnson on sitar and guitar, me on bass, um, David Page, David, uh, Tom Snow, Tom Canning, Bill Payne, Craig Durge, Keys, Dr. John. It's got the cast of thousands here. So let's go here. So this is Savannah. <laughs> So that's Yvonne Elliman from her self-titled album, Yvonne Elliman, 1979. Um, see how this works. I'm sitting here holding the speaker to see what it sounds like, see if it shows up in stereo on there. I mean, the one, you know, quality that, that my channel has over most of the others is this is so low ball. It's just ridiculous. Normally that speaker is sitting on my side. Right now I'm talking into my cell phone. Uh, lean, it's leaning against my computer screen, so I'm playing the music through the computer, and the sound is coming out over there, but the old iPhone 11 wasn't a stereo, so when I had the thing sitting on one end of the phone, it recorded it, but now apparently there's a mic in both ends, so I might figure out the setup for 
making sure this maybe gets to you in stereo so we can full enjoy the full dynamic range of, of all of this. <clears throat> and when I'm doing my ones at home, it's the same setup, except I, when I play along on the ones where I have played along, I've got a bass amp sitting next to me on the floor and I just pull the drawer out from my desk where I'm sitting and I have a selfie stick and a C-clamp and I just clamp the uh, selfie stick to the uh, drawer and then set the camera up in that. It's like, I get guys writing me all the time going, man, we could help set you up with a really cool studio. And I'm like, no, I don't think so. I think this is adequate. That's the old saying, you know, aqueduct for my porpoise. So this is good. So I'm going to get going now, uh, get ready. We head out of here soon and head to Mayor Gardens. And I'll be posting a video later today from that venue. And uh, it should be a beautiful evening there. It looks gorgeous outside. And it's one of the prettiest settings for a concert. So I'm really excited about this gig. I uh, like all of them. I mean, they're all different. They're all unique. So I wish everybody a great day. I, I, I wish Yogi a speedy recovery. You know, my heart really goes out to him. He's suffered for a long time, so it's really great that he's finally got this addressed. And um, and then I will be back tomorrow. We're off driving after the show tonight to somewhere else. That's our routine. You know, we drive all night, check into a hotel for a couple hours, check out, go sound check, have a little dinner, play the gig, get on the bus, drive again. And this is every day. I wouldn't give it up for anything. So take good care. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.